In the previous videos, I demonstrated how to create insurance appraisals for various types of jewelry. In this video, I'll show how to create an estate appraisal for a vintage watch. I'm logged into the loop as the admin with permission to access all customers and other users. I'll click Start New Appraisal and I'll search for a client with the last name Johnson. I'll enter the last name here, click Search Clients, and make sure that this is the client I'm looking for. Then I'll click Save and Return. This appraisal type will be Estate Appraisal. The options here include naming the executor, which in this case is the client, and I can add the name of the deceased and date of death. Like with all appraisal types, I can add an additional contact as well, such as a spouse or sibling. Because I'm the admin, I can change the appraisal's expiration date. If I leave this blank, the appraisal will expire in the period of time I've set under General Settings. I'll click Create Appraisal. First, I'll select the equipment used for this appraisal. Then I'll click Add Item to get started. The type is Watch, and I'll click the camera icon to upload the three pictures I have of the watch. I'll enter the description here, and if I needed more space, I could drag this corner. Then I'll click this icon to start entering the watch components. This watch has three components, the watch itself and two sets of diamonds, those around the dial and those in the bezel. I'll click Add Component and start with the watch's component type. I'll click this icon to complete the watch details. For brand, I'll click in the drop-down, find R, and choose Rolex. The type is wristwatch, and the diameter is 36 millimeters. For size and gender, I'll choose men's. The shape is round, the crystal is sapphire, for model number I'll enter this number, and the serial number is here. Display is analog, and dial color is black, which I can find under B. The numbering system is round, full-cut diamonds. For band color, I'll look for S and choose stainless steel and gold overlay. And for band, I'll find J and choose Jubilee. The mechanism is automatic, and diamonds are in both the dial and bezel. Next, I'll check these features of the watch. And finally, I'll add this additional description. Clicking Next Page takes me to the pricing page. To assign a whole item value of 6,000, I'll enter that here. When I click Save, the value then appears here. For the diamonds along the dial, I'll click Add Component, choose Diamond, and edit this new component. The details I enter here will appear in the appraisal, but these diamonds won't be included in the value calculation, because the $6,000 I listed for the watch includes the diamonds. For shape, I'll look for F and choose Full Cut. The number of stones is 10, and I'll enter .015 as the weight of a single stone. The actual weight button is activated. I'll click Next Page to continue to the diamond attributes, where I'll set clarity here and color here. Polish and symmetry are both good. In the additional description field, I'll mention that these are the diamonds along the dial. I'll proceed to the pricing page, where I'll click Pricing Method and choose Do Not Price This Item. I'll click Add Component to continue with the bezel diamonds. Again, the type is diamond, and I'll click here to edit. The shape is full cut, and the quantity is 54. The single stone weight is 0 0.02, and I have these dimensions. Proceeding to Diamond Attributes, I'll choose the clarity and color. I'll list Good for polish and symmetry. And here, I'll add that these are the diamonds in the bezel. Proceeding to Pricing, as before, I'll choose Do Not Price This Item. The appraisal is now complete, so I'll click the Complete icon. I'll click here to download the appraisal PDF. The third page of the PDF contains my template for estate appraisal documents, which is set in the Appraisal Documents section under Application Settings. Starting on the fourth page, I have the description and value of the watch itself. And on the last page, I have the descriptions, but not values, of the diamonds. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how customers can use the customer portal to access their appraisal documents.